What's up my wonderful loyal YouTube family? Wow, it is another steaming hot day in Hua Hin. Wow, I'm not complaining. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. My wife had a baby last week, so my baby is one week old now. And guess what happened? Postpartum. How do I deal with it? I don't know how to deal with it. So many emotions going on. What's the best way to deal with it? Chocolate, sweets, food, coffee? So I said, let's get the hell out of this house and go and find a new place. So as usual, what I did, I went online and found this place called Jai Rack Cafe, or is it J Rack Cafe? It's in Hua Hin. It's not that fast, around 15 to 20 minutes from us. Looking forward to going there because there's loads of kids slides and animals and I've never, I've never heard of this place. If you guys, if you guys have heard of this place, please comment and subscribe, you know, hit the notification bell. I want to know about these places so I can go and visit them for myself. So on that note, let's get the hell out of here. Wow, so we've arrived. Here we go. It's all in Thai as well. So it's a bit of a strange place. It's got some uh, big animals outside. This is the first time we've been out as a family, by the way. Family of four, so a round of applause for us. Welcome to the tropical jungle. Wow, there's all birds and stuff. It's like a little, it's like a zoo. Let's have a look. We got some parakeets in there. Parakeets, sorry. So let me describe this. There's a lot of cafes, Sawadika. There's a lot of cafes here serving coffees. Oh, nice. Is that ice cream? Well, wait for that. That's good. Buds ice cream, Sawadika. So there's loads of stalls here. Athena! So loads of birds. Oh, there's big cages here. Oh, there's a parrot in there. Wow, look at that. Hello. Nice looking parrot. Decent cage, big. What is it? Alexandrine parrot. Parakeet. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. That's attached. It's a nice color though. We got yellow. Are they attached? They're not attached. Oh, this little one is. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, they're all attached. I don't like that. Bye bye. Bye bye. Come on. Bye bye. More peacocks and birds, and what's this? A sun cor cornu. Hello. I love those colours. Got a random peacocks walking around the place. It's a bit empty. This looks like um, how do I describe this? Like a zoo, I guess. Free zoo. There's a woman behind me following me. I'll show you now. Right there. She keeps following me. I don't know why. I'm a bit scared. Leave me alone. Oh wow, look at that. A big play center. And the lady is still following me like a uh, detective. Leave me alone, please. <laughs> oh look, an ostrich. That's a, that's a, is it? That is very random. Right. Yeah, that's okay. We don't have to stay here. Wow. There we go. Quite a big playground here. Gonna enjoy this for a little bit. While the wife gets hounded. Right, I'm gonna leave these little babies there and I'm gonna go and little hunt myself. I'm gonna do, explore this whole kids thing. Let's have a look, it can't be that scary. So we got here, got a couple of slides, three slides there, got a bouncy, uh, what's it called, a trampoline. Losing my words here. If I crawl down here, mind my hat. And here we go. Got a trampoline, massive one. This is a random place, guys. That is Noddy. You guys, is that Noddy's nurse a taxi? An old basketball game, random wooden items, more birds in cages. I don't know if, there's something creepy about this place. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There's something creepy and, it's like a ghost town, but there's birds, random birds everywhere. Yes, they're in cages, but most birds in places like these are in cages. Um, 
Let me just turn the camera on. We've got some white crusted laughing thrush. I don't know if anyone laughs at thrush. That's not good to have. Oh, what's this, like an iguana? Oh God, that's actually scary. Right, let me exit this place. So this is just like randomly around the corner. Um, this place could be pretty good if it was, um, I guess if it was advertised. It's actually not in too bad condition, I'm gonna be honest with you. Even though these toys look old, they look pretty clean. And this is, this is massive. This is the biggest like park I've pretty much seen. And yes, there's a random ostrich here. Don't ask me why. And she hasn't got that much space to do whatever she does as what ostriches do. Hello. Hello. Miss, Mrs. Ostrich. Oh God, you scared me then. You are massive. You're as tall as one of my friends, Jerome. Probably, probably just a little bit taller. Quite a pretty ostrich actually. They got such long necks though. God. What are you doing in there all day? It doesn't look, doesn't look great. There's a chicken in there showing the food. I don't know what that says. I'm gonna have to translate that later. Yep, coming. And that we, there we have it. Right, so what did we order at this place? This is Gyrac Cafe, believe it or not. So I think the cafe is like in there. There's multiple cafes and that, that woman who stalked us uh, all the way to here, she obviously wanted to buy, us, uh, buy something. So of course we were gonna buy something. Um, what did we buy? We bought one espresso, which is here. Uh oh. So one espresso. How much was that? Do you remember? It's fifty. Fifty baht. So not the cheapest, but yeah, exactly. This is seventy. And that's seventy. That's also that's a pineapple smoothie, no sugar for Athena. Yogurt. With yogurt? Oh, with yogurt. Okay, seventy. That's about right. And what did you get? That's what I get. But I oh, okay. Like you're sharing it. Share it yeah. All right. Okay. And then there's. She didn't order anything. I think she just ordered milk. You get, you got the milk? Yeah. Let's do it, baby, on <laughs> camera. So what's your opinion of this place? It's a bit of a, a random, what do you reckon? Yeah, it's really, it's really random. It's like, it looks like there's a lot of cafe, but it's not, it's actually the same cafe everywhere. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. so that's it's the whole- It's one cafe, the whole thing is one cafe. That's why she's following you and just take your order and then- All right, it was, it was like, a bit, it's a bit stalkerish, but- one place doing the steak, one place doing the drinks. Uh, okay. This kind of stuff, you know? There's a lot of people here, but working but not a lot of customers which is really sad i hate to see that but that's what a lot of places are like in thailand they do a big place up and let's probably spend quite a bit of money on it a few years ago and probably the c word hit the pandemic and then that was it that was the end of that that's just my guess so let's take a look at the menu we have the coffees here you can screenshot this if you want and we've got teas and cocos italian soda I keep, I don't know why, what's the what's the big deal about Italian soda, is that a thing? But why Italian? I went to Italy, I never heard of Italian sodas. Okay. Don't know if that's a real thing or made up. And then smoothies, and then we've got some of the other beverages on the menu, 7-ups, beers, more Italian soda. And then we've got food, which are, a lady... There's a steak menu. Who comes to this place and orders steak? I do not know, but there's I did read... I did read some reviews online about they, they serve high grade Thai steak, but why would they keep high grade, sorry, Thai French steak here when no one's coming? I don't really understand that. Maybe it's frozen, I have no clue, but here's the menu if you want some sort of chicken steak with French fried, not fries, fried. Actually, there's fries there and there's fried there. Um, yeah, they got quite an extensive menu of kind of fried dishes. Nothing that well, we didn't come here to eat basically, we just came here to have a look around. So. And then there's like a lady over there with her son, a Russian lady I think, and they've eaten some rice which looks pretty good. You like it Athena? Yeah, good? C'est bon? Got a little bit of a cold today. Yeah, go and have a little sip for the camera for the people. Don't forget guys, comment and subscribe. All the proceeds go towards Athena. Look at the clothes we bought her with some of the proceeds from YouTube. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, let's go and try a little coffee. It's cold now, by the way. Bitter, but it's good, I like that. It's actually a damn good coffee. That's good, good. I love the little surprises about Thailand. You just come to this place, randomly off the side of the road, have a coffee, random animals. I'm not sure how I feel about the, I'm sure the animals are doing really well. Like I, I see the good, they, they don't look bad, but I, I, maybe I just got to think about animals and small cages and stuff like that but you know everyone has their opinion it looks okay from what i'm seeing uh coffee's good uh, games for kids perfect place for a random afternoon
So we're just working our way around the place. So it's kind of like a circular circuit here. We've got some roosters. We've got a bucket load of birds here. All in this though, there's a peacocks in there. There's a massive, I don't know what that white one is. I guess that's a, I don't know what that is. Let me zoom in. That's like a bloody dinosaur. There's a peacock up there. Cuckoo, doesn't smell too good. I'm not gonna lie. Athena, let's go. There's a yellow ring neck. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought he's got something around his neck, but that's why they're called ring neck, dummy. Athena, this way. Another uh, green ring neck. Uh oh, oh no. Let's pick you up. Oh, we've got a raven here. Wow. It's like a dark black, bl greeny blue. Oh, it's, the cage is open actually. Probably getting out. Okay. All right, maybe they're allowed out. Hello, we got some ravens here. That's my wife's favorite bird apparently. I never knew that. I would lose on a, on a game show. What's your wife's favorite bird? Have no clue. Wow, you like that? So the cage is open, so it looks like they can go out. We got lovebirds. Oh, that's, I love that name, lovebirds. Oh, I like all these colors. Wow, look at all those colors, Athena. Wow, look at that. It's amazing. I think, yeah, lovebirds. Um, I've never seen so. What's this? A little club going on in there? I've no clue. What's, that's like a restaurant or something. Coffee. Let me just go and have a look at the toilets. I'm gonna to do a quick toilet check. There can't be too many people using this, so. Well, that's the ladies, so I'm not gonna go there. Let's work my way around here to the men's. And see how clean, they're clean. They are clean. That's not real grass, by the way. We've got some lemons there. Let's pull the toilet seat up. It's wet, but it's clean. That means someone sprayed it. That one's pretty clean as well. Open urinals, no pubes guys, congratulations! They passed the pube test. And another successful pube check, none in the toilet at all. You get four and a half stars out of five because there's no AC in there. Wow! So there guys, there you have it. My final thoughts on this place. It is a very random place. It's like a zoo slash a restaurant slash cafe there were only us there just past one guy in his own and there was a woman and her son there so very empty more people working here than people actually like patrons i think they call it or customers actually you know what if you've got time to kill you have children let them kill half an hour 45 minutes in there otherwise i mean it's not a place i would probably come back to again because of i want to sit down in some ac but otherwise guys it's been really cool finding new places in thailand especially in hua hin so thank you for watching please don't forget comment and subscribe and we'll see you soon peace